Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about Project Tiny. Now this is an initiative going on at Unity to basically create a stripped down uh, modular runtime for creating uh, smaller apps, things like web applications, ads, and so on. And they just released a new demo scene called Tiny Racing, which also includes an implementation of Project Tiny. Now Project Tiny is very much under development still, but I think it's going to be one of those things that's going to be very interesting to developers going forward, especially when you don't need the full features of Unity and you don't want to pay the cost for those features. So this is the new demo they released. Um, I'll showcase it right now. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's actually a nice well-made demo. It's basically like a Mario Kart clone. You race around the track. Uh, the graphics aren't going to blow your mind by any means. But, you know, it, it looks good. It performs well. I have the sound muted. There's also sound. It sounds decent enough. And I'm currently winning. So I'm good with that. Oops, now I'm currently not winning. You want to hit those boosts. Uh, but yeah, this is it. Very straightforward, very simple environment. Uh, nothing really to write home about, but it's a good solid example. Now where this starts to get more impressive though, is when I reach up here and I press this key. And then you'll see I've been running this in my browser all along. So this is an example of Project Tiny in action. And we're going to look a little bit more about what Project Tiny is all about. First I'll show you this actual sample. So here you can see what we were just running. It is a Unity project right here. Uh, they just released this on Friday. It is an example of um, Project Tiny in action. This is Tiny Racer. And you know, you saw what it did. It's basically a Mario Kart column and it works fairly well. It performs pretty well. Should work on relatively low end hardware. And this is meant mostly as a showcase of what Project Tiny is all about. And what is Project Tiny all about? Well, it is taking advantage of the new dots or data oriented technology stack. And it's a new runtime. So basically, instead of the normal Unity engine runtime, this is the Project Tiny runtime. It's much smaller. It's more usable for things like embedded ads, uh, quick loading HTML pages, uh, smaller uh, applications for uh, more constrained hardware. Uh, that's where you would use Project Tiny. So basically, if you have a game that has small requirements, Project Tiny is perfect for you because basically you can use a subset of Unity features and not pay any additional overhead. And here, this project is basically demonstrating it in action. Now, right now, there are some major limitations. We'll get into those in a second. But for example, there is no physics support. There is no 2D support. Uh, all of these modules basically have to be created. Now, probably the biggest problem, and this is a problem with all of Unity right now, and if you're a Unity developer, you know what I'm talking about, is they're kind of trying to do an update in place with the Unity game engine right now in that, you know, instead of having, you know, a next major version, they're doing them, you got a lot of experimental and beta features, and they're all kind of depending on each other. That's the downside of going modular. There's a lot of upsides. You can develop things um, in a more modular manner. You can do more parallel development. But you, then you get these interdependencies between those modules, and there is a dependency hell right now when it comes to Unity. And Project Tiny is no different. And in fact, it's got its own set of dependencies on those modules, uh, the tiny versions of the various different subsystems it's going to depend on. So just get used to that when you are dealing with uh, any kind of Unity project lately. There's a lot of growing pains as they introduce these new dots technologies and modular implementations and so on. And T Project Tiny is no exception. Also, this is nowhere close to ready for prime time. This is a preview level thing. Um, and yeah, so that's it. All right, so we're going to jump back to, into some of the details. First off, we have the update that was just released. I will link this in the linked article down below. This is where you can go ahead and get the demo we just looked at. I'll show you how to grab it on GitHub in just a few seconds. Uh, it shows you how to get started with it right now. Again, it is dots based, but they do have tools for converting uh, game objects over to entities. Um, but it is currently not available. So you're gonna run into a lot of that with Project Tiny. Currently not available, currently not available. That's kind of just the downside of it. Um, current preview also does include any of the following features, 2D, UI, physics, networking, and animation. So like I said, this is not ready for prime time, uh, but it is a very interesting project. And uh, this preview kind of gives you an idea of what to expect from it. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more about it, I will link this article as well, sort of their getting started guide. We got some links to like some of the recordings they did to explain what Project Tiny was going to be all about. But here you got a bit of a heads up of what it is. So compared to regular Unity content, Project Tiny content targets the new Dots runtime and has no dependency on uh, the existing Unity engine. The Dots runtime is a new execution environment focused on Dots code with a very lightweight, small core runtime that can be extended by modules providing uh, additional features. Our goal is to ensure that you can pay code size and execution costs only for the features that you actually use. All functionality is provided as pure Dots modules delivering, delibled, delivered sorry, as assemblies and is interacted using Dots and ECS 
uh, or the entity component system methods. So Project Tiny is part of the spectrum of regular Unity and Pure Dots capabilities. Our goal is to ensure that if our project is compatible with the Dots runtime, it will also work in the Dots hybrid slash Unity. But again, we are not there yet. So if you want to check this guy out, you need to use Unity 2019.30 or later. I'm using 2020 alpha in this particular case. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, they got some details on getting started here. So here is the current status of Dots in general. So it works on desktop platforms, web via uh, ASMJS and WebAssembly, Android and iOS. Uh, 3D is there. A lightweight 3D render is available for Unity.Tiny.RenderingAssembly. Um, so this is the only render that's available right now because right now support for 2D is coming in a future release. Uh, input, lightweight input is available via Unity.Tiny.Input. Audio, lightweight audio is available. Animation is coming in the future. Physics says unity.physics should work, but due to a lack of fixed time updates, there are significant issues. So this is coming in a future version as well. Uh, UI is coming next year. Jobs API is fully supported and the burst compiler is partially supported. So that's where you're at. So you want to learn a little bit more. I will, of course, link this document. It goes into a ton of detail about what Dots is all about, what it can and cannot do, and how to set up and create your own Dots project. But your easiest way for now is just download this demo and then modify it to your needs because it's, it's kind of pre-configured for you. But again, because of the heavily modular and experimental version uh, nature of uh, Unity right now, do expect to jump through some dependency hell regardless of what you do because that's just the way Unity is these days. All right, so if you want to check it out, it is up on GitHub. Uh, so it's uh, Project Tiny Samples. You can clone it here. Basically, all you need to do, come on in here, grab the uh, the Git clone URL right here, copy that down, and clone it using a Git command line, then import it into Unity, and you're off to the races. Uh, in terms of licensing, uh, it's under the Unity Companion license for Unity-dependent projects. And I'm not going to get into the legal requirement there, but if you're interested, the license is here. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, it will be limited to uh, in its use greatly. So you're not going to be able to redistribute these assets or anything like that. It's just the nature of the beast. So anyways, that is Project Tiny and Tiny Racing, the new uh, demo for demonstrating it. I'm interested in what you think of this and what you think of the state of Unity in general. Basically, I, I can see two ways that they could have done things. They could do this in-place slow upgrade and kind of get the community used to things. Or they could have created like Unity 2 and then had all the new rendering uh the configurable pipelines, the new dot system and all that there and basically had, you know, the before and after. And now we're instead going through this growing pains and migrating between the two. I'm curious what you think of Unity's approach, if you'd like it, or you would have preferred that just kind of rip the bandaid off at once. Or do you actually, are you intending to stay with game objects in the existing Unity system and this is all just crap to you? But I do find that the, the Project Tiny, a small runtime, a pay what you need cost idea, I do like that. So I am interested in seeing where this project goes. And hopefully it goes um, quite far. They're saying uh, in 2020, they will deliver frequent incremental updates with features of bug fix support for Unity Physics and 2D are coming in January. So definitely wanted to check out. And I'm actually kind of almost shocked they didn't start with 2D because in some ways I can see that as being the biggest demographic for something like Project Tiny. But anyways, interested in hearing what you have to say, what you thought of the demo and what you think of Unity in general right now. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.